There was a crime that happened in Los Angeles in the 30s, and her name was Elizabeth Short, and she was nicknamed the Black Dahlia because she wore a flower in her hair and had dark black hair, and she often described herself as a widow. It was a crime that has gripped for 50 years because it was unsolved. When I tried to track more information down about it, I found that there's a website um, where you can actually see the mortuary shots of Elizabeth Short, the horror of this murder. So many hits, so many people so interested in a brutal murder, and I wondered what would happen if there was a copycat. The press would give you the title very easily. If a dead girl was found with a red flower in her hair, she would immediately become the red Dahlia. To do the same crime in present day is very dangerous. And it is a very, very dangerous kill. Um, it's audacious. I think for me it was the most horrific I've ever, ever had to work on because I had to delve into a real case as well as my case. And the more you delve into reality, you know you can't cheat in the writing of the Red Dahlia. It's there. It's a copycat. The Red Dahlia goes into a dark world, but it also has an honesty to it and hopefully an understanding of what horrible, terrible death means.